What's up, YouTube? You're inside the edge, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I have a lot more NBA content on the way. I'm going to be doing a lot of NBA content, a lot of NFL content. The NFL season is starting next month, guys. It's the preseason, guys. I am excited. I hope you guys are excited. Um, you know, the NBA and, um, you know, NFL season, we're going to see um, some great some great entertainment for the next years to come, man. You know, the NFL is in really good shape. The NBA is, is it's in fantastic shape. Um, so today I'm going to talk about James Wiseman, another young player developing. I feel like I'm going to make a lot more videos on younger players, players that can contribute to other teams. Um, so I'm excited to do this because with Wiseman, I'm sure you guys been hearing a lot of controversy about him ever since he was in college. You know, pretty much in Memphis, um, when he was in college in Memphis, he pretty much opted out of Memphis, right? I mean, <laughs> it's like, who does that? You know, this guy literally opted out of college and said, yo, guys, I'm just going to just train for the NBA draft. And that's pretty much what happened. You know, um, he trained throughout, um, you know, that 2019 um, summer and um, 2020. He's, um, you know, the second pick in the NBA draft. So all his hard work paid off. So it was looking like, you know, with Wiseman, he had a promising, you know, future. You know, looking at his rookie season, he played 39 games with the Golden State Warriors. He averaged 11.5 points and 5.8 rebounds. And then he came down with a, with a torn meniscus. So he tore his meniscus in his right knee. Um, it looks like the rehabbing was going well for him. And then it looks like in December of 2021, he had to go on for a second knee surgery. So that pretty much sidelined him for the for the remainder of this season that just passed. Um, you know, because it looks like he was going to work his way into playing in the G League. And then that was going to be Wiseman's rollout to be able to play in the NBA Finals or in the playoffs. That was going to be his rollout to just play in the G League, you know, get his feet wet and then be able to project himself into that playoff run but you know with the Warriors you know they didn't need them um you know look at what the Warriors did I mean they took care of business beating the Celtics and here they are you know NBA champs so now Wiseman is in a situation where he's coming back to this Warriors team and they're NBA champs I mean I'm sure he has all the confidence in the world and you know with Wiseman I guess the biggest question I can say is what can Wiseman do for the Golden State Warriors um, you know, I, I know he's going to he's going to bring a lot, you know, just starting off with his stature. I mean, he's listed at seven one. So he's going to be that defensive presence. You know, he's going to be a shot blocker. He's going to be a guy that's going that's going to contest shots. Um, you know, defensively, I think he's going to be terrific. Um, I, I also think he's going to I think Wiseman is, is going to struggle a little bit with the Warriors in a sense of not so much of his talent, but just being aware on the court and knowing when to score, when, you know, looking at double, you know, he will face double teams. So just knowing when, when the double team comes, um, you know, who to kick it, who to kick it out to, um, you know, where's his position on the floor? I think Wiseman is going to have to, um, you know, just try to build that chemistry because of the Warriors. You know, the Warriors, they're built off of ball movement. Um, so I think with Wiseman, he has to just feed off of, of Draymond and he has to feed off of Curry. So it's going to be a lot of pick and pop to his game. Um, I think that's is how that's his, that's going to be his bread and butter for the season because he is a good mid-range shooter. He can shoot the three ball, but I think Wiseman, he really needs to focus on being an inside presence. Um, what I mean by that is, um, you know, I think he needs to be at the wing. But I think he needs to, you know, be a guy that's going to be able to attack the rim, um, you know, attack the rim or if he's near the elbow, I think, you know, he needs to work on his jab step, you know, hit, you know, hit guys off with a jab step, rise up and shoot and just make sure that his mid range game is going to be his bread and butter. Um, just because, you know, a lot of teams in the NBA, you know, they they orchestrate their defense around Curry, you know, now, um, you know, Jordan Poole, but, you know, Clay and just teams are being um, perimeter defenders. I think when you have a guy like Wiseman, now teams have to kind of game plan for Wiseman because of him being, you know, seven one and him being fundamental. I mean, I don't want to say he is Joel and B, but he, that's the kind of um, prototype of player that um, you know Wiseman brings to the table. You know, this is a guy that can shoot the mid range. Um, you know, he has good fundamentals. He has good footwork. Um, he can run the floor. He can run in transition. I mean, it's really scary. So, like I said, I feel like um, you know he can bring a lot to this team. And just he can really pick up of what um, Kevon um, Looney was doing for this Warriors team, you know, being able to crash the boards, um, you know, and rebound. I think Wiseman can can do that, but, you know, 10 times better because of his length. I think he's going to be a terrific shot blocker for this team. Um, you know, as much as Draymond is the defensive anchor for this team, I think, um, you know, Wiseman's going to feed a lot off of Draymond when it comes to defense. 
And um, and speaking of Draymond, I also think Wiseman is going to benefit a lot of, off of Draymond because, like I mentioned before, I can see a lot of pick and pop. I can see a lot of pick and roll action between Draymond and Wiseman, and I can already see a lot of alley oop passes being made by Draymond. So, um, you know, with these two on the court, I think you know it's going to space the floor. And, you know, with Wiseman, I think he'll be fine. You know, I think he'll be fine with, with just being around shooters because what makes a big job so much easier is when he is surrounded by shooters. Um, you know, this this right here, is, um, you know, that's something for, um, you know, that was just advice for the 76ers. You know, I think they need to surround Joel, uh, Joel Embiid um, around some shooters. But with Wiseman, I think he'll be fine. I just think he needs to understand that he will be facing double teams and he just has to know he has options. You know, should I attack? Um, you know, he also has to use his fundamentals, you know, his head fakes, his pump fakes, um, you know, being able to use his pivot, um, how to, you know, back down in the post and have ball control, you know, have ball handling. So it's just those little tweaks. It's just those little things I think Wiseman needs to, to work on and, and also just be aware of, you know, knowing where he is on the court and, you know, knowing when to make the pass. And just knowing that he has options. But when you're playing with one of the greatest... When you're playing with... I'm sorry, not just Curry. But when you're playing with great shooters. Two of the greatest shooters of all time. I mean, that has to raise your, your confidence level. And I think with Wiseman, I think he'll be fine. You know, and I think he he's what this Warriors team needs. Because I know that they're good at... You know, I know that this Warriors team, they orchestrate at best when they play small ball. And a lot of ball movement and fast pace. But I think even with Wiseman, I don't even think he's going to even slow down this team because he can run the floor. Him being seven foot, you know, he can run the floor and transition and, you know, and, and just ha and finish at the rim easily. You know, he's going to get fed the ball, man. And I think, you know, with the Warriors, the way that they're set up, they're going to feed him where I could already see a lot of alley-oop passes from Draymond, um, no Curry. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, that looks like we're running at seven minutes. I don't want to make this video too lengthy, but um, I want to hear what you guys think about James Wiseman. Do you, you know, at what point do you think he will start for this Warriors team? At what point of the season? How much points do you think he's going to average? Um, drop a comment down below, guys. How do you guys feel about James Wiseman? I mean, he has been forgotten. I mean, we have to remember, this guy was the second pick. And you know, in the draft, so a lot of potential, guys. If you ask me, I can see, I see Wiseman being a star, but I don't see him being a superstar. I, I only see Wiseman, I only see him being a all star at that. But um, you know, let's see, you know, time will tell. But with that being said, guys, drop a comment below. I want to hear you guys' opinion. Until next time, see you guys in my next video. Peace.